Hi, and welcome to my guide how to complete the Desert Medium Achievement Diary Tasks. The quest requirements are the Golem, Ankara's Lament, Spirits of Elit, and Eagle's Peak. Skill requirements are 20 Construction, 22 Slayer, 25 Thieving, 30 Agility, 35 Woodcutting, 36 Herblore, 45 Strength, and 47 Hunter. Items needed are between 1 and 3 ice coolers, approximately 1000 GP, a rope, a small fishing net, any kind of axe and pickaxe that you can use, a scroll of redirection, a house tablet, an unfinished Herlander potion, goat horn dust or a weapon to kill a desert goat, a charged camelet and a light source. For the recommended items, a ring of dueling of at least 2 charges. So weight reducing armor and one stamina potion should be enough. Some desert gear if you want to and something like two, three water skins. Depending on how many desert pieces you are wearing. You also need to have some food and a weapon to kill a combat 24 or 42 desert lizard. And that is it what we will need. Let's start by completing our first task. Let's quickly buy a chanty pass, go into the desert. Go a little bit southeast to the rock merchant and travel to the user. This will already be your first task out of 11 completed. Okay, after arriving, let's continue running east. So you can't go any further. Then we just need to go south until we see a rare tree sign on our minimap. There is where we should find a teak. Here, let's chop down this one teak. Till we have uh, gotten one T clock and this will be the second task completed. Next let's teleport with our camlet or rub teleport and go to Ankara's Lament. Alright next let's teleport to the dual arena and let's return to Chantipas. Here at the bank of Chandy Pass, fuck, don't, ah, god damn it. Here at the bank of Chandy Pass, uh, bring your weapon and some food to kill a desert lizard. Then let's buy a pass of Chanty and let's enter the desert. Next, let's go southeast and now we'll need to cross the bridge to cross River Elit and let's go to that hunter sign. Once we have crossed the bridge, just go east, south, e just go east, north, east to the hunter sign, and let's set up a young tree trap. Now we just need to wait for a orange salamander to uh, get trapped in our net.
All right, when you finally caught one, let's check the net. This will be task number four completed. Next, let's go a little bit south to the desert lizards. Equip your weapon and kill one. I think a level 12 will be uh, enough. Once the health bar is at least 90% uh, red, let's use a ice cooler on it and you will complete task number five. Next, let's go back north. Keep going north. Now we need to go all the way north to the mine and there we should find a desert phoenix. Let's grab a feather of the desert phoenix. This will be this will be task number six completed. Then let's go a little bit west and here should find a cave that we can enter. Enter the cave and here should find a boulder blocking the way. Push the boulder which requires 45 strength to push and here should find a couple of desert eagles. If you don't have a rope just pick it up from the spawn and then use it on a desert eagle. And this will teleport you to eagle's peak. Next use your rope on the desert eagle again. To travel back to the desert and this will be task number seven completed. Now what you could do is use your rope on the desert eagle once again to teleport yourself back to eagle's peak and then, then just use your rope on the jungle eagle to go to Feldip Hills which will complete a western provinces medium task. Use your rope to get back to Eagle's Peak and then use your rope on the Polar Eagle and that will complete a Fremnik medium task. And once you've done that, let's use a scroll of redirection on a house tablet and select the third option, Pons Niche, and then break your teleport. And this will be task number eight completed. Next, let's enter Polifniche and go south to the Southern Rock Merchant. We all need to travel with his rock to Narda. Next, let's go east, enter Narda once you've arrived and go inside of the temple where there is the statuette of Eladinis. Pray at the statue, which will be task number nine completed. And let's now go south to the bank. Here in the bank, we will need to uh, actually deposit everything. We will now need a couple of items. I'm just going to deposit everything. The items that we still need is the goat horn dust or a weapon to kill a desert goat, an unfinished Herolander potion, weight reducing armor, some summer pies if you want to boost your agility level, and also some food because now we'll need to go to uh, the agility pyramid. That might also cause a little bit of damage depending on your agility level, some water skins. Then let's also grab our light source and rope. That is actually pretty much it that we will need. Also be sure to have uh, your Ring of Dueling so we can teleport ourselves back to Chanty Pass to claim our reward. Once we have all these items, let's go west, west of the bank. Just keep going west until you see the crevice. Which is just a little bit west, northwest of the bank. Here, let's use the rope on the crevice. You climb down, let's go north, open the door, and this will be task number 10 completed. Next, let's open the door and climb back up the rope to the desert. And here, let's use a goat horn dust on an unfinished Highlander potion. 
Now you must make this potion somewhere where there is desert heat affecting you. Next, let's go southwest and let's go to the Agility Pyramid, which is just immediately south. This will be the final task. We just need to go climbing up the top of uh, the Agility Pyramid. Claim that little golden pyramid on the top of the pyramid and that will complete our final task. Okay, first things first, important. First, talk to Simon Templeton. Just skip through the conversation and he will tell you that he will give you 10,000 GP for every agility pyramid artifact that you get to him. If you get that little golden agility pyramid, it will not complete your diary task. First, talk to him and then climb to the summit. Okay, once you've reached the summit of the Agility Pyramid, be sure to climb the rocks. You're just on the western side of this Agility Pyramid, and this will now complete your task. This will not happen unless you've talked to Simon Templeton. So if you do not have completed this task, be sure to talk to him first. And I'm going to claim my free 10,000 GP by just using this Pyramid top on Simon Templeton. And if this doesn't work, just talk to him first and then climb back to the summit. Next, teleport to Dual Arena. Let's run south and claim our medium reward. Now there are actually only two rewards that you get. First, the general one is with every medium task, you will get a uh, antique clamp, which will give you 7500 experience in any skill, if it is at least level 40 or higher. The Feral Scepter will now hold 5 charges instead of 4 and you can now use the teleport option on your Desert Amulet 2 to teleport yourself to Narda for free once per day. But first let's claim all these rewards. And this was my guide how to complete the Desert Medium Diary. Hopefully it helped, subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye!